Hi everyone. Um, right now I'm at the uh, conclusion of my art history class. I've been in um, week four. And what I've been doing this week is um, I've had an art, an industry assignment, uh, uh, an assignment called Art in the Industry. And for that assignment, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my um, earlier podcast or not. I've been so busy. Um, <clears throat> Um, oh, what we did for this assignment was, we're supposed to, uh, can't find the words for it, um, we're supposed to look for someone in the entertainment industry who is currently active in today's entertainment industry, um, who can provide some insight on what, on, you know, their writing, on their artistic process, um, how technology blends in with that, you know, that sort of thing. And sorry I've been stopping and hesitating and sometimes I just can't find the words for it. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find an industry veteran so I found a class peer and um, he had some pretty interesting answers I have to say. Um, that, was, that was interesting and we had like all month to prepare for it and I did pretty well. Um, so far, I've gotten like so far, my video posts like the transcript at least has gotten a hundred. You know, I posted my video and you know I gave a peer review to someone else. So I'm just waiting on that one. But so far, I've got an A in art history, and I'd like to thank Mr. Mr. Guess for um, his material for this class. Um, the art history, um, the art history book on Vital Source Bookshelf. Um, that's a Mac application they give you for downloading course material. Um, I like to thank him for that because that um, that book really taught me a lot about how culture has um, changed and well, how culture how the art cultures, you know, have evolved and what they did, you know, how culture, how today's culture views it. Um, and the word modern, well, it has a different meaning than what we think of it. You know, modern to us usually means today's stuff, but to them it means artworks that um, are meant to appeal to certain people and a certain time period. Well, that kind of sounds the same, but um, it's hard for me to put into words. I'd have to show you, and I'm not sure how to. Not sure how I can like do that just on this post. I'd have to edit it and everything, and uh, I don't have that kind of time. I'm going to West Virginia this coming week. I meant to bring that up. So if I don't have a video podcast, then well. If I don't have a video podcast in West Virginia, well, I'm visiting family. So, you know. So we're all, um, speaking of family, we're all trying to, like, get to bed early so we can get up early in the morning and get to West Virginia um, early because it takes about eight hours to get there from where I am in Tennessee. And, um, well... It's just how it is. Um, and we're trying to all go to sleep early, but since I got my next class coming up in a few hours, well, it's going to be made active at midnight. You know, I, I say it's going to be active in a few hours, but, you know, I just want to, you know, make sure I have all my assignments ready, you know, before I go. You know, I know what I'm supposed to do for this short week. Um, I, mean, I bet there won't be too much, but... Um, I'm sure it won't be too bad. So as we draw into the next class, um, there's not really much to say. I've been, I've certainly enjoyed as I'm as with all my classes, I've certainly enjoyed the ride through it because um, each class I go through usually teaches me something that's definitely worth learning.
you know, you want to make sure you learn as much as you can, you know, as fast as you can, and learn, yeah, you just want to make sure you learn everything as quickly and as efficiently as you can, so you can build a successful career, um, like I said, as, as fast as you can, and, you know, so you can enjoy life, you know, let, you want less years to, you want less of those bad years, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, my next class is Literary Techniques and Story Development, and I think the uh, class title speaks for itself. Um, so, you know, in a few hours I'll be in, I'll be out of art history and into week one of Literary Techniques and Story Development. And then after this class, there's Christmas break. And... After that class, hmm, let me think. I'm not sure which class it is. I have to, I'll have to look. So the class is college mathematics. Um, hmm, didn't didn't expect to. Uh, I guess I didn't expect to see that. But um, who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe, maybe I could learn. Maybe I could learn some things I didn't know before. Maybe there are some times you learn more than you think. Um, I mean, college mathematics, I'm pretty sure it's used in the entertainment industry um, a bit by certain professionals, but um, as to how writers use it, I um, hmm, don't know, but who knows? I, I'll probably learn something. Um, well, I guess that's all I have to say for tonight. Um, so, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And just let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Alright, thank you for watching, and you have a good day.